What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to want to talk about the battle that we have going on right now with the hedge funds and market makers and the American Revolution. Now, when people talk about the American Revolution, immediately people like George Washington comes to mind. Crossing the Delaware, you've seen the picture. And Thomas Jefferson and the rest of them that were there at the Constitutional Convention that signed the Constitution. However, they could have never gotten to that point had it not been for one man named Thomas Paine. Now most people, and I really mean most people, have never heard of Thomas Paine or what he did to help win the American Revolution and defeat the British. In 1775, they were sitting there on a riverbank. It was snowing. It was cold, and everybody was miserable. They were out of food. They went to George Washington. They asked him, what do we do? And George Washington said, I don't know. Get fucking branches, put them in a pot, stir it up, and everybody will think it's a fucking soup. And they ate twigs and leaves, people. They were doing so bad. And while they were doing bad, there's another man sitting on a stump, and he's got his pen, and he's a writing boy, and he's a writing, and he's a writing. And when he finished the American crisis, he presented it to General George Washington. General George Washington read this, and he said, I want it printed. I want everybody in this country to read this pamphlet. Why? Because they had suffered defeat after defeat after defeat. And Thomas Paine understood that it was the morale and the motivation of the people that was being brought down. And if the British could continue to suppress their emotions, and make them believe they were losing, they would lose. Sound familiar? Same battle we have today. They believe that if they could just hold on and keep pushing us down with our emotions, eventually we will give up. But on that night in 1775, after George Washington read that and he sent it around to the men and they sent Thomas Paine back to Pennsylvania to get with Ben Franklin to print the document, American Crisis. I'm gonna share a clip of that in just a moment. But after reading that and after the men read that, George Washington and his men, they begin to look around and they're going, you know what, this is fucked up. We sitting over here freezing cold, starving to fucking death, and the British are across the river there, the Delaware River, and they fucking barbecuing, got bonfires and tents, and they warm, fuck this, get in the boat. And they went across that Delaware and they beat that ass. That's, the, that's how the American Revolution was won. But it was won because they got tired of being suppressed, people. Here's a, the beginning of it. And we're going to talk about what Thomas Paine said, what he means, and how it applies to today. So, kick back, relax, and listen to this. Crisis number one, published December the 23rd. 1776. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. Now let's talk about that and what he means and how it applies to today. Because he said that these were the times that try men's souls. The summer soldiers and the sunshine patriots will, in this crisis, shrink back from the duty to their country. And I'm going to tell you this. We have been holding now for over a year. And the summer soldiers and the sunshine patriots, we call them today paper hands. Those that are not willing to stay in the fight because the fight has become too strong for them. So they cower and they sell their shares when it goes up on the next rip, which I expect to be Monday and Tuesday. And I think I know why it's going to rip. Because they need your shares. And you say, well, we're holding. You're going to hold. Are you going to hold at 72 again? You've been there, soldier. 
Or when it hits 72, you're going to say, man, I'm out this shit. Fuck that. I, I held all through last year. Summer Soldiers. Sunshine Patriots. Summer Soldiers and Sunshine Patriots today are YouTubers who are convincing you to, don't worry about it. Two particular ones. And then I quit watching YouTube videos when I woke up because I did not want to hear any more. But two particular ones, I went to go see their channel strictly because I knew for the last five months, and I've called them both out, that they were not in our best interest. I'm not going to call them out tonight. I, it's not a versus YouTuber shit. But the point is this. They're telling you, lay down. Don't fight. Everything's okay. The British aren't coming. We've won this battle. When in actuality, right now, many of us are on the battlefield fighting. While the Sunshine Patriots are trying to convince you to just lay down and don't do anything. You're not going to hear that from me. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier of God. I'm a soldier in this. I am down with it, people. I have held just like everybody else has held. And this is the time that will try your soul. They're going to want you to sell your ape, more importantly, than AMC. Why? Because it's registered. There's only 516 million. Now give them out by Friday on the 19th. And they say, well, we're going to change the policy during the weekend. And we're going to add in a clause that says other, and it'll cover the ape shares. And we could suspend AMC and ape for to, up to two days. Because you change your policy on the weekend? The weekend after the dividend? Get the fuck out of here, people. If y'all don't see that as a fight, you're crazy. Next, are those that are getting their shares. I've got my shares in E-Trade. I'm still waiting on three brokers to deposit my shares. Will they be there Monday? There better be. Because we're fighting right now on the weekends, pressuring them over in my Discord, pressuring the brokers. Where's my shares? Oh, you'll have them Monday. Well, I better. And then they tell another individual, well, we we have to suspend the stock because of corporate action. No, you can't suspend that stock because of corporate action because you changed the policy on the weekends. But summer soldiers are saying, relax, don't worry about it. The sun is out. Go out and enjoy your weekend. Why? Because either they don't hold a position or on the next rip, which will probably be Monday and Tuesday, I'll explain why in a minute. They're going to sell. They're going to paper hand. They're going to leave people in the cold that they have convinced to hold for over a year and a half. We've seen it before. Trey Trades did it. TMI did it. All of them did it. Everybody, if you go back and look at their first video at where they started and where they're at now, they bought new homes. They bought new cars. Why? Because they've sold at high points and did not tell us. So, my message is, is this. Just like Thomas Paine said, tyranny is not, at, like hell, is not easily defeated. Yet we have this consolation. The more glorious the triumph. If we hold people, we win. Now, here's my challenge, and I know damn well most people aren't going to listen to it, especially the YouTubers with a large account. If you don't sell your ape, tell everybody gets ape. Understand? Why? Because they need them shares, and they send them to certain brokers. They're going to sell their shares of ape, then they're going to take those shares of ape that they just sold and give to me come Tuesday. Now, they locked up over here on Tuesday if they come to my account. But if they go to somebody else's who is weary and tired of the battle, they're going to sell. And what's going to happen? They're going to take those shares of ape and they're going to start depositing them 
into Cash App for people. For up to seven days, they're going to be halted. Why? Because they need people to sell their ape so they can transfer those apes over to here and give you a chance to sell them so they can rinse and repeat the process. Some are soldiers, paper hands, pussies are going to sell while the rest of the AMC army are sitting on the sidelines. And some of them are even making videos saying, well, it's your fault. You shouldn't be with Weeble. It doesn't matter what platform you're at. Fidelity hadn't got their shares yet. Why not? The question is, why is the DTCC cherry-picking who gets their shares? And if we research it, we would probably find out that the brokers that are getting their shares have the most volume in AMC. People, that's all I got for you. You watch these YouTubers and, man, fuck it, I'll call his name, and Jackson Hunter is going to sit there and talk that Zen bullshit to you, and you're going to lay down like he's telling you to do, and you're going to miss this battle, and you're going to lose this war. Because the first time people start dropping, now they got people outside of retail, but there's four million of us at least that know about this and are holding and if you paper hand, you're pussy. You're leaving soldiers behind. And soldiers don't do that. I love y'all. I hope y'all can understand that now is the fight. This weekend is the fight. And these YouTubers that are telling you, don't do nothing, don't worry about contacting your broker, bullshit. Adam Aaron laid the groundwork. He filled out this frequently asked questions. He sent it to the SEC so that there would be no miscommunication of when these shares are supposed to be issued. And it says right here on number two of the frequently asked question, when is the AMC equity preferred equity unit dividend being issued? And it says right there, dividend payment date, Friday, Monday, maybe Thursday, could be next week we're not sure no it states right there in the document that the dividend payment date the day they go into your account was supposed to be friday august 19th 2022 close of business now i also notice that when i read this adam aaron says here in this fifth point AMC preferred equity units will begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange on the ex-dividend date of what? August 22nd. However, the first initial trade of AMC preferred equity units may not commence exactly when the market opens. We expect the first ape trade will occur on the New York Stock Exchange sometime between the market opening at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time and 12 on August 22nd. After the first trade is made, we would expect to see continuous trading thereafter. So, Adam says, give them until 12 o'clock to be able to get all everything arranged. Let me tell you something about that, people. Here's, I'll address that in the next video. I'm going to show you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again in another way so that everybody can understand how they will beat us. If you sell your ape, the play, the play is over. Simple as that. Now, I love y'all. I want everybody to come out of this victorious. I want all of us to have our money. I'm not going to instruct you to lay down at a time when Adam Aaron has done his part. And now it's up to us. Why have they not deposited all the shares on the 19th? But we will work with you. You have till 12 o'clock. You have until trading starts to get those shares into everybody's account. Because once trading starts, you've cherry-picked who you, your favorites. You've given them their shares. We have to wait until they can rinse them, 
and send them over here to us. That's not acceptable. Now, I love y'all. Be blessed. I hope y'all like the story of the revolution, the real story of the revolution, and how I tied it into AMC for us. And we can come out of this victorious if we don't have summer soldiers and sunshine patriots. We have to be soldiers. We leave no man behind. You hold until everybody gets their eight. That is the only way to expose them. Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.